more local news tonight. Five new members of the Narragansett Town Council will be sworn in. Big decision looming regarding Boone Street Market. On the agenda tonight, a vote regarding the market's renewal of its liquor license amid months of back and forth between the establishment and its neighbors. Joe Cortez live right now with the very latest. Good morning, Joe. Well, good morning, Patrick and Kay. You can expect a lot of support from both sides of this ongoing battle at tonight's town council meeting. Now, those five new council members, they're going to have a big vote. And, you know, over the last couple of months, 12 News has been covering this story. Neighbors saying that they're hearing noise and late night activities. And while we spoke with the owner, the owner says that he's made the necessary adjustments. Now, right now, there is a petition online for support of renewing the marketplace's liquor license. It's got over 3,000 signatures. In November, the council had a chance to vote on this, but it was tabled because the new council was so close to taking over. Neighbors' concerns regarding Boone Street Market range from noise, traffic, excess trash, and unruly patrons. Now, the business, however, said they've monitored they monitored the noise levels with Narragansett Police, and since September, they've removed several speakers and told 12 News they'd be adding sound dampening panels. Neighbors we spoke with are frustrated with the business, but the owner wants to restore that relationship. Street, it's like Bourbon Street. It's like the French Quarter during Mardi Gras. Let's do whatever we can to make this work. We don't want to go anywhere, and we we, we want to work with them to to get to a place where we can all all live happily together on Boone Street. Now, also written on that petition is a lot of what Boone Street Market does for the community, helping out other businesses struggling and helping with the schools. But the neighbors over the course of a couple months, they've really expressed a lot of frustration with the list of things that they want to see get done. But tonight we should expect to see a vote and it'll be a hot topic conversation throughout the week. Reporting this morning, Joe Cortez, 12 News.